Hey guys, it's Nicoletta. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I saw this in Mac Barbie 07. Um, I saw her do it this morning. I didn't like watch her film it, but I saw her video. Um, and her name is Bethany, if you don't know who she is. She's like a really sweet girl. She does amazing beauty videos and do-it-yourself videos. I will link her down below. She started it with another girl, and I don't know how to pronounce her YouTube name, but I'll link her in the description box too. Um, I thought this was a good tag because it is about confidence, bullying, and self-confidence. Or, and about inner beauty. Sorry. Blah. Um, and I just thought it was a good tag to do. So I'm going to get started now because it's kind of a lot of questions to answer in 15 minutes, and I'm a rambler. So the first question is, have you ever felt unconfident before and why? I'm sorry, I'm reading them off of my laptop. Um, yes, I have. And I have a specific answer for this question. When I got out of high school, me and my boyfriend of four years decided to call a relationship quits um, and move on with our lives. So things were just not working out with us. We were kind of going in different directions and it was the best thing for both of us. So we decided to do that and it wasn't really about him, but it was more about dating. Because once you get out of high school, dating is harder, I think, because there's not a lot of people just floating around the area. Like you have to look for a guy. You're not just gonna like walk into a building and you know, people are sending text messages about going out together and your friend is walking up to you like, this boy wants to date you. So it's a little difficult, but I decided to try online dating. And when I first got on to the website that I chose, um, I was scared because all of the girls were gorgeous and thin and pretty and I just felt so inferior to them um but I got over it after a while and I was like you know what um I'm different and if someone wants something different then that's fine and if nobody does then it's their loss whatever I'll find someone eventually and I did I'm married now so if any of you are thinking about trying online dating and you're scared to don't be that's how I met my husband I met my husband online so it does work um, the second question is, do you lose confidence when you don't feel pretty? Yes, I do. Specifically when I have a wardrobe malfunction somehow, like, um, I know old navy pants sometimes when I wear them, they start to stretch during the day and they get a little bit baggy and I feel like people are staring at me like, why is she wearing boy pants? And that is one of the times when I do feel unpretty. The next question is, what makes you feel confident about yourself? Um, I think that a lot of people are going to say like, oh, you know, I'm different than everybody else, but I'm going to do something, I'm going to say something specific, and humor makes me feel confident about myself. Like, obviously not on camera, but generally in conversation, I'm pretty witty and can come up with like, Sarc I'm like sarcastic and witty and my whole family is kind of like that. I kind of get it from my dad and my aunt, but that's just how I am and that makes me feel confident because I know that, you know, if there's like a lull in conversation with someone, I can always make a joke. Like there's always a joke to be made from me. Like I always have something to say. So I feel like my people skills and my sense of humor really make me confident with people because I know that that's different. I know that, you know... I can hold a conversation and I know that you know I'm I can be funny and if all else fails I can be funny so that makes me confident bullying is the next section and the first question is have you ever been bullied yes I have um, I can't remember two specific incident incidents 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 <laughs> um, the first one, when I was in middle school, I was walking home from school with my friend and a girl came up behind me and she just pulled my hair for no apparent reason at all, pulled it so hard that I literally fell to the ground. And I didn't know her, she didn't know me, I've never seen her before and she did it for no apparent reason. And um, so that was one instance. And then the second one, when I was, you know, in like eighth grade, I was about to get out of middle school. And, you know, you get a little bit older and you start, like, being really, really into boys. I started talking to a boy that I guess my friend was liked or something. She didn't tell me that she liked him. But I did start talking to him and um, I guess she got mad. And her and one of my other friends actually hacked my cell phone voicemail and changed my message to something dirty and inappropriate, like swear words and things. And my grandma heard it, which was very embarrassing. Um... 
that's another thing I want to touch base on. If you're younger and you're getting bullied at school and you think your parents, like, I know a lot of kids are like, oh, my parents will be embarrassed or they'll be disappointed in me because they want me to be popular. They will not be disappointed in you. They will be proud of you for letting them know and having a conversation with them. Sometimes you don't want your parents to get involved, like, and go to school because you're afraid, like, oh, it'll get worse. But they can at least give you good advice. They've been through it before, um, whether you think so or not. Um, bullying was going on back then and it will continue probably forever because there's never going to be, you know, there's not one person in the world that everybody likes. There's always going to be somebody. So, you know, it happens. The second question is, did you ever bully someone? Um, I'm assuming that a lot of people are going to answer this question by saying no. I'm going to answer it truthfully and say yes, I have. Um, when I was in high school, I don't remember exactly what grade, a new girl came to my school and she was unpopular. Um, nobody really liked her. And she was only there for a couple days and I noticed that she was eating at her own lunch table so I invited her to sit with me and my boyfriend. And my friends decided they didn't like her, so I literally one day just decided I was going to make her get away from my table, and I asked her to move, and she said no, and I started this whole big fight with her. And the next day after it all happened, I felt horrible. I wrote her a note apologizing. I told my friends to leave her alone. Um, I felt like a horrible, horrible person, and at the end of the day, um, that feeling was worse than the feeling of being bullied myself. Um, which leads me to the next question, which would be whether you were bullying or you've been bullied, how did it make you feel? It, like I said, it made me feel worse to bully someone else than it did to get bullied because I was choosing to do it. When someone's bullying you, you're not choosing that unless you've done something specifically to them on purpose, then you're not choosing it. But when I bullied someone, I chose to do it and it was a horrible, horrible thing for me to do and I felt really bad. So don't ever bully someone. The next question is, how do you deal with bullying? Um, I just don't listen to people. Like, if somebody leaves me a negative comment on a video, um, if it's constructive, then that's fine. If it's just flat out mean, I'm just not going to listen to it. Um, I'm not going to respond to it. Bullies want responses from you. That's the idea of bullying you is to make you feel upset or get, a, you know, be sad about it and cry. I'm not going to cry about it. Like, Go ahead and say whatever you want to say, but at the end of the day, I have people who love and care about me, and they mean more to me than your stupid comments. So, that's how I feel about that. Um, the next section is inner beauty, and the first question is, do people seem more beautiful um, to people, do nicer people seem more beautiful to you? Absolutely. I think that the nicer you are, the more beautiful that you are. Um, I think beauty is, um, is definitely something that comes from the inside. And, sorry, I have something in my throat. Um, I think beauty is definitely something that comes from the inside. And I feel like there are a lot of girls out there who are completely gorgeous. But if I see a girl and she's, like, super, super pretty and I'm like, oh, I wish I could look like that. And then I see her yelling at someone or calling someone a name. I'm kind of like, ew, you know, I'm definitely glad I'm not like that. Um, that it makes them ugly to me because... Putting other people down to make yourself feel better is never a good idea, and I ne would never recommend it for any of you to do that. It's not going to make you feel better about yourself, and you're going to look... People are going to know that you're doing it to make yourself feel better, so don't do that. And yes, people that are, are nice are definitely more beautiful to me. So if you're nice, people are going to respect you more, and you know, people are going to like you more, and you're just going to... It just reflect. it's like really reflected in your personality, and your personality also makes you beautiful, so. Um, actually, oh, and I also read in a magazine, I think it was Women's Health or Cosmo, one of the two, that men are, us are actually turned, uh, turned off by women who call someone else a name or pick on someone for no reason at all. So remember that next time you see someone like walking down the street and you want to say something to your boyfriend, don't say it. <laughs> um... The next question is, does makeup make you feel prettier? Absolutely. Um, I don't rely on makeup to love myself. I love myself the way that I am and I am happy with myself, but makeup does enhance my natural beauty and it makes me feel confident and it makes me feel pretty and 
um, I don't know, I just feel put together when I have makeup on. Without it, I kind of feel like I'm not put together. So, yes, makeup does make me feel pretty. Excuse me, I have, like, the hiccups. Um, what do you think of the expression, beauty comes from the inside? This is the last question. I think that that is absolutely true. I think that, like I said before, if you're a mean person, I just don't find mean people to be attractive in any way. Like, people are going to be like, oh, you find women attractive. Um, attractive is a lot different than, like, wanting to be with someone. Like, if I see a girl that's pretty, I'm going to be like, oh, she's really pretty. I'm not going to be like, I'm not a lesbian. Like, that's, that's stupid to me. Um... Yeah, I think that people who are nicer are generally more attractive and people that are rude are generally just unattractive and unpleasant to be around. So yes, I do think that beauty comes from the inside and I also think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I see people all the time um, that I think are beautiful and my husband's like, oh, that's not my cup of tea. Um, I see people that I feel inferior next to, and I feel like, you know, if you're a girl, you know that feeling when a beautiful girl walks in the room and you're with your boyfriend or your husband or somebody, and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> um, and my husband's like, I love you. You're the most beautiful thing in the world to me. So I definitely think beauty comes and is from the eye of the beholder, and you really have to understand that just because you're not beautiful to one person or one person isn't beautiful to you doesn't mean that, you know, someone else isn't going to find you beautiful or someone else isn't going to find them beautiful. Um, and just remember that whenever you're, you know, thinking about talking about somebody that people love that person. Like, that person has a family, that person has friends, and, you know, that person might have a girlfriend. And just because you don't find them attractive doesn't mean you have to state that out loud. Like, keep your opinions to yourself. But if someone does ask you, like, oh, do you like me? There are ways to get around that without being rude. Tell them, you know, you're not my personal type. Like, there's a different type of person that I like. But if I liked someone that was your type, then yeah, I would like you. You know, you're a nice person. Or, you know, give them compliments. Tell them, you know, you're really nice, but you know, being friends is enough for me right now, and I don't really see you that way. You don't have to be rude. Like, I see so many people when I'm walking around, like, or I'm walking the mall, and I hear people being like, he's so ugly. I told him he is so ugly, and I don't want to be with him. Like, don't talk to people like that. Like, you don't have to be that rude. You can just say, you know, you're not really my type, but I'm really flattered that you like me. There you go. Or, you're not really my type, but you're so nice, and somebody is going to, like, sweep you off of your feet one day. <laughs> I guess if they're a guy, you would be like, and you are going to sweep somebody off their feet one day. But if they're a girl, you'll be like, and somebody is going to sweep you off your feet. Yes, they are. They are going to just walk up and pick you up and take you to your room and sweep you right off your feet. I guess you don't have to really go to your room. I don't really know. I'm just blabbering now. But, yeah. So, I do think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I do think the beauty comes from the inside. So that is it for this tag. I will tag a bunch of people at the end of this video and I also tag every single one of my subscribers to do this video. I think this video has an amazing message so if you do videos, even if you don't, do this video and if you do do it, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like a little kid if you do do it, um, if you do it then make it a video response to this video and I will watch it and um, I think these are really fun videos to watch too, just to see other people's personal stories and realize that you're not alone. So I'm going to go because I actually have to leave time for me to write other people's names in the credits thing to tag them. So thank you for watching and I really hope that you guys decide to do this video.